Welcome to Midweek Prayer. This week we celebrate the baptism of Jesus Christ and we often take this opportunity to renew our baptism vows. So later on in the service Anne and I will lead us in a, an act of rededication to God at this new year, reaffirming our baptism vows. But for now, the collect the special prayer for this week. Eternal Father, who at the baptism of Jesus revealed him to be your son, anointing him with the Holy Spirit, grant to us who are born again by water and the Spirit, that we may be faithful to our calling as your adopted children. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Now we join together in saying the Lord's Prayer. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Baptism um, that would be from Luke chapter 3 if you're looking at Luke this year as the, the lectionaries do um, 15 through to 22 but I'm going to read Isaiah 43 1 to 7 thus says the Lord he who created you O Jacob he who formed you O Israel do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned and the flame shall not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Saviour. I give e Egypt 
as your ransom, Ethiopia, Ethiopia and Sheba in exchange for you, because you are precious in my sight and honoured, and I love you. I give people in return for you, nations in exchange for your life. Do not fear, for I am with you. I will bring your offspring from the east and from the west I will gather you. I will say to the north, give them up, and to the south, do not withhold. Bring my sons from far away and my daughters from the end of the earth. Everyone who is called by my name, whom I have created for my glory, whom I formed and made. Now, um, at St Paul's, Pete, our reader, uh, was preaching this morning and uh, he had found some certificates um, at home. And amongst the certificates were some swimming certificates where he'd done his 25 metres, 50 metres and, uh, and so on. And also his uh, dedication uh, certificate when he was dedicated in the Pentecostal church, um, his baptism certificate, and then his confirmation certificate when he'd uh, become uh, a member of the Church of England. And he said that the difference between the two certificates was one that his bapti his sorry his his swimming certificate, a lot of water today, rivers and and uh, and baptism. His swimming certificates were through things he had done. He had managed to swim 25 metres or whatever, and he got his certificate to show what he had done, what he had achieved. But the other certificates were not through anything he'd achieved. They just happened to him because because he was loved, because he was loved by his parents, because he was loved by God. I think sometimes uh, our confirmation, we, we think it's a sort of a, a certificate to say we've done the course, achieved the confirmation preparation. No, it's a sign of God's love as we confirm our baptism vows again in church. And then hands are laid upon us as a sign of God's Holy Spirit coming again into our lives. And it's all based on God's love. It's just because we are that we are loved. Um, and that came out very much in our reading. God says, I love you because I created uh, you for my glory. I formed you and I made you. We are loved by God because of who we are. And we find that very difficult to take hold of. We think we have to earn love. And some of us, maybe, maybe you, um, learned that love was conditional. If you were a, a good girl, a good boy, then you were loved. And if you were a bad girl or a bad boy, you weren't loved. But God says, no, I love you because of who you are. Because you are uh, my child, made in my image. I think that that doesn't feel very satisfactory just loved because we are. We, we sort of want to take hold of it, we want to secure God's favour. And God says, do not fear for I have redeemed you, I have called you by name, you are mine.
And then he says, when you pass through the waters, I'll be with you. And through the rivers, they will not overwhelm you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned and the flame shall not consume you. Almost we just have to trust. And I think we do. We just have to trust. We just have to step out and trust that God will be there. We almost have to step out into those places of danger and find that God is there for us. It is as we step out in faith that God will care for us and provide for us, that we find God's love. We find that he is caring for us. He is providing for us. But that, oh, it, it just doesn't feel very secure. But I think that is the way of it. Many of us are discovering that God just loves us. And then we put that faith into practice by discovering that God is there for us in the difficult times. We, we do pass through the waters. We do crow through the rivers and we feel we're going to be swept away. But God is there and we get to the other side. We do go through the fire. We're scorched but not burnt. We're not consumed by the flames. We are bruised by life, but God takes us through. And sometimes, well, for all of us, our lives are finite. We will die, but God will see us through and God will be there for us the other side. And so we can trust without knowing how God will help us, how God will protect us, where God is leading us. We just don't need to know. We just need to trust. But that is hard. But this passage says that God will, will fulfill our deepest desire. Now, I know some people who, who have long for things that have not happened in their lives. But we trust that our deepest needs will be met in this life or beyond. The image in the passage is of God bringing back his people from exile. It's more than exile in, in Babylon. Um, people are being brought from the north and the south and the east and the west. We're being reunited. We're being brought together again where we are divided, where we are separated as the family of humanity. God desires to bring us together, to, to show us that we're not different tribes or different uh, ethnicities or, or backgrounds or faith groups. We are God's children. We are loved. God brings us together. Our separation is an illusion. We are united with each other and with God and with all things. So, as we come in a minute to the renewal of our baptism vows, may we step out in faith again and trust that God will provide for us as we put ourselves into his hands again. I have promised to serve thee to the end be thou forever near me my master and my friend I shall not fear the battle if thou art by my side no wonder from the pathway if thou wilt be my guide 
me, feel thee near me. The world is ever near. I see the sights that dazzle, the tempting sounds I hear. My foes are ever near me, around me and within. But Jesus, draw thou nearer and shield my soul from sin. Oh, let me hear thee speaking in accents clear and still. Above the storms of passion, the murmurs of self-will. Oh, speak to reassure me to hasten or control. Oh, speak and make me listen, thou guardian of my soul. O oh, Jesus, thou hast promised to all who follow thee, that where thou art in glory, there shall thy servants be. And Jesus, I have promised to serve thee to the end. Oh, give me grace to follow my master and my friend. Oh, let me see thy footmarks and in them plant mine own. My hope to follow duly is in thy strength alone. Oh, guide me, call me, draw me, uphold me to the end, and then in heaven receive me, my Saviour and my friend. And then in heaven receive me, my Saviour and my friend. So we renew our baptismal vows. We all wander far from God and lose our way. Christ comes to find us and welcomes us home. So we're recalling our baptism, we respond to his call. And after each uh, question, we say, I do. Therefore I ask, do you turn away from sin? I do. Do you reject evil? I do. Do you turn to Christ as Saviour? I do. Do you trust in him as Lord? I do. May Almighty God, who has given us the desire to follow Christ, give us also the strength to continue in this way. At the end of each clause, this time we say, we believe and trust in him. So we profess the faith of God's church. Do you believe and trust in God the Father, source of all being and life, the one for whom we exist? We, we believe, believe and trust in him. Do you believe and trust in God the Son, who took our human nature, died for us and rose again? We, we believe, believe and trust in him. Do you believe and trust in God the Holy Spirit, who gives life to the people of God and makes Christ known in the world? We, we believe and trust in him. This is the faith of the Church. This is our faith. We believe and trust in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. And as we come towards the end of our service, uh, we make our commitment uh, uh, to following this way of Christ, this way of his baptism, dying to self, that we may live for God. As we follow the way of Christ, we affirm the presence of God among us, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. And there is a response which you can join in with if you can remember it. Jesus, you are the way. Guide us on our journey. God calls us to share in worship. Jesus said, where two or, th or three are gathered in my name, I am there among them. 
Jesus, you are the way. Guide us on our journey. God calls us to share in prayer. Jesus said, remain in me and I will remain in you. Jesus, you are the way. Guide us on our journey. Jesus calls us to share the scriptures. Jesus met his disciples on the road and opened the scriptures to them. Jesus, you are the way. Guide us on our journey. God calls us to share in communion. Jesus said, do this in remembrance of me. Jesus, you are the way. Guide us on our journey. God calls us to share in service. Jesus said, as you do it for the least of these, you do it for me. Jesus, you are the way. Guide us on our journey. God calls us to share the good news. Jesus said, go and make disciples of all nations. Jesus, you are the way. Guide us on our journey. And so may we find that Jesus is our way and that we can trust in the love and protection of God who will be with us as we go through the rivers and as we go through the fire. And may the blessing of God Almighty the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. And so go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In, in the, the name, name of Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen. And thanks for joining us.